Hi, my name is Johanna Conta and we are going to take a look back at one of my favourite matches from 2019. It was at the International d'Italia Rome where I faced Kiki Burtons in the semi-final. Enjoy! <laughs> I remember walking out onto, onto court in Rome. I love everything about Rome, um, but specifically, which is no secret, I absolutely love gelato. So I think I did a good job this whole week that I didn't put any more emphasis on any individual match, I thought. Um, I also knew, obviously, going into the match that Kiki was going to be playing some pretty pretty consistently good tennis, having just won Madrid. And I actually played her earlier in the year in Indian Wells, so yeah, and I think it was really windy, I remember that. And the wind, uh, the wind was blowing part, like some of the clay off the court during the match. Oh, that's a nice shank. <laughs> yeah, look at, oh wow, look at my clothes blowing. Yeah, I remember I tried, just trying to stay adaptable and, and kind of be prepared for her playing well, but then also me just using the court well and um, just really enjoy playing the game. I thought I played like the game of tennis quite well in that match and the conditions were tough as you can see. Um, that was a really good volley. <laughs> I literally just twitched. I don't know if this happens to anyone else, but sometimes when I watch tennis, it doesn't even have to be my match. I sometimes twitch, <laughs> like I'm about to like run for the ball <laughs> when I'm actually just sitting here. Oh, what a good! Oh, that was so good! Yeah, I remember like movement was a big part of this match, also because of the conditions it being so windy but then obviously because of who I was playing I mean she's very good on clay and I mean she's very good on every surface but yeah I think I was just prepared to also play in all areas of the court um, moving forward wide back I mean Kiki also uses the court so well so I was again prepared to be moving a lot prepared for long points but just also really wanted to be prepared to move forward when I could well, Kiki Burton's has herself a shot, not getting to five all, but did the wind help on that? Thinking back, even just losing that first set, I felt like I was doing so many things well that I, I actually didn't feel disheartened. And, but definitely I felt like I was doing so many good things that if I kept going, then there was every chance I was going to get opportunities, but I was fully prepared for also for them not to come because because my opponent was also playing really well. Yeah, no, she she reads the game so well, Kiki. So I think that was also always gonna be tough for me to then just use the court well and, oh wow, what a shot. <laughs> what a shot. That's good. Ooh, did I make that? Oh, I think, I think that was a bit of a, bit of a shank. I think I hit that with the frame. It's okay, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're just finishing off the second set and it's two hours, over two hours. Yeah, I think like even there, my demeanor is pretty similar to like after the first set. Um, I think, again, I thought I was doing good things. I mean, there was so little in the first and the second, like either way I could have, you know, just as easily won the first, but just as easily lost the second. So um, it was just a lot of good things. I think I had a bit of a momentum shift in in, at the beginning of the third or around this part of the third and at any time that's the thing when you play the best players in the world at any time they they are able to turn things around which actually with not much of fault of your own so oh that was a good job she cannot it's all <laughs> my coach liked it too <laughs> Oh, it says match point number four. I didn't even remember having three match points before. Oh, I was sure pleased. Oh, it's so nice actually watching myself play again. I definitely miss playing right now, that's for sure. And what an effort from Kanta. Look who has suddenly become a power on play. I had a tough kind of 2018 and definitely a very tough end of 2017. So. Um, to be really enjoying what I was doing um, was definitely uh, 
was definitely, I think, helping me in this period. Two hours and 49 minutes of intensity from Kanta puts her in the final in Rome. Well, that was a great win for me, and it was really fun watching it back with you. Looking forward to seeing you guys on the court soon. Thank you.